What is up, you happy F45ers? I'm Shannon Helm, the head trainer at the F45 training here in Sherman Oaks, California. We're here in studio today, and I'm super excited to be delivering you guys this body weight at home gravity workout. But before we get into that, I just wanna take a second and address, I hope everybody's staying happy and healthy and home and trying to stay as active as they can with these circumstances. Here in LA, we just got news that our quarantine has been extended through the end of July. So we're super fortunate for this opportunity to team up with Movement by Michelob Ultra and Optimum Nutrition to help support our home studio here in Sherman Oaks, okay? How it's going to work is you can uh, either use our PayPal or our Venmo, and for every dollar y'all donate, Optimum Nutrition and Michelob Ultra are going to match up to $7,500. So for every $1 we get donated, we're gonna get $2 in to us. But now, before we get there, I've got a special guest to introduce to you guys. We're here joined live with Mr. Mario Lopez. What's How are up? you, Mario? How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited to be with you. This is a very, very cool uh, uh, thing that we're doing, and I'm excited to uh, help out all the wonderful people at uh, F45 and uh, miss you guys and miss training there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the end is in sight and we'll get uh, team training back together soon. Absolutely. In case people aren't familiar, Mario actually comes and is a member at our studio here in Sherman Oaks. So it's super fun to be connected with him virtually um, to do this at home F45 workout. Now, let me tell you how this is going to work. Uh, we're going to do a quick I'll intro and demo the workout, show you exactly what to expect, and then we're going to get uh, right into a warm up and workout that's going to take 25 minutes. And afterwards, we're going to crack our cold Michelob Ultra and we're going to sit down for a live QA with you. How does that sound? Sounds great to me. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So, before we get into that, let me break down the nitty gritty of this workout, okay? So, we're going to have two pods. Each pod is made up of four different exercises. We're gonna be at each exercise for one set of work. We'll be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to rest and move to the next set. We'll go three times through that pod. We'll break for a minute for water and come back and hit pod two. All right, okay. does that sound good? So our first good. movement in our first pod is going to be single leg burpees. So you're on one leg here, you're gonna jump up, control it down, take that chest to the ground, and try to explode through one leg, just like this, all right? So single leg burpees oh, wow. are gonna be that first movement. Yep, you're, working you're that one. You're just demonstrating right now, right? You're just demonstrating. Yeah, just I'm demonstrating. I'm processing, just, okay. <laughs> you process, single I'll burpees, demonstrate, okay? Yeah, you're not messing around. I okay, figured we ahead. had to get I'm your quiet. heart rate up. All right. <laughs> no, you're perfect. All right, after those single leg burpees, we've got sit-ups with a twist. So we're gonna keep our core nice and tight, suck that belly button in. We're gonna sit all the way up and we're just gonna keep our glutes nice and engaged, twist to the side, alternate as we go. So you got two. Core tight here. Nice. Movement two there. Exercise three, we're gonna hold nice and low in this midpoint squat. We're gonna alternate forward into a forward lunge, all right? So we're here making sure we keep our knees at 90 degrees as we keep that low lunge position, all right? Last exercise of this pod, we're gonna hold a nice low push-up position, keeping our hands right underneath our shoulders, core nice and tight. And we're gonna take that knee to our elbow, keeping our core nice and tight, chest engaged here, okay? That's all too hard of an option. We can always be in a high plank position and do the same, same movement, all right? Keeping the core tight, need that elbow connection. Awesome, that's pod one. Pod two, okay, first exercise. It's another combo move to get our heart rate up. We're gonna do a drop squat with a forward lunge. So, we're here, nice drop squat. Bring it in, forward lunge. Drop squat, forward lunge, okay? So we're gonna get that heart rate nice and up. Alternate the movements there. After that, we're gonna drop down, we're gonna work our core. We've got a moving plank. All that means is you're gonna be alternating from a low plank here to a high plank, okay? Making sure you don't rock and roll through your hips. You wanna stay nice, solid, and square to the ground the entire movement, okay? okay. After the moving planks, we're, we're back up on our feet. We're gonna do some ice skaters here with a hop. So you're gonna be laterally controlling that knee, staying low, and then finishing with a nice controlled hop right there, working that lateral okay. drive. Okay, and last but not least, we've got a push-up into a side plank, okay? So we're here, shoulders stacked over our hands, 
We're gonna drop our chest down, and then we're gonna open and try to be in one straight line. Put them our arms, shoulders stacked right over each other. Okay? You're strong, Mom. Mario, you're strong. I'm so ready <laughs> to get you doing this. Does all that look good for you? Looks great. That's a, you know what's great about this workout, too? Obviously, you're not using any equipment. You don't need a lot of space. Anyone can do this in like a very, very small space outside, whatever. It's a great little uh, workout for it. Nice. Absolutely. For anybody who's watching at home, this is your opportunity to get up and get ready to decide to get moving today because we're about to get rolling into our warm up. All right. All right. We're going to be rolling in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's get our heart rates going. We're starting with high knees and punches here. Okay. Get those knees right above your hips. We're going to have a nice low punch just like this. Who are you punching? Mario, you have experience in box beatboxing, don't you? Yes. <laughs> You're punching down. You must be fighting a lot of little guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have the experience. All right, right here we're going to convert. We're going to go squat, and we're going to twist here. Open up that back. Get that full range of motion in your squat. You want your weight back in your heels as you go. Finish what you're doing. <laughs> now we're going to lay on our backs. We're gonna do a lumbar twist. All right, so keep those shoulders on the ground. We're gonna send okay. our leg across our body. And we're like loosening up a little bit. These feel very good. Let's try to keep those shoulders on the ground. All right, for the people at home, we're gonna convert into hip thrust here. Bring your heels in, squeeze your glutes up to the ceiling. Here we go, Mario, we got hip thrust here. Yeah, make sure you squeeze it in. Engage through the glutes. <laughs> Let's Let's any, anytime you can engage the glutes, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that whenever I'm cueing you yeah. on those movements. All right, let's stand it up. Let's do a hammy groin stretch here. We're gonna send our hips high and low and just really try to loosen up our backside here, all right? So touch those toes, bring that booty down and drive your knees wide with your elbows here, oh. just like this. Okay. Nice. Then you can send those hips high, stretch out those hammies. Yeah, just like that. Good. Nice job. All right. Let's go two burpees to finish this warm up here. All right. We're okay. going to jump, explode through our toes, take that chest to the ground, and we're going to finish with one more. At Sherman Oaks, we always say if you didn't do two burpees, you didn't try. <laughs> All, All right. right. Hope we're feeling good. Out. Thank you, Shannon. Good workout. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, are you feeling good? Are you feeling ready to get into this? I thought we did have like a full workout right there. That's just a warm up. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. We got we're gonna and get, we're gonna get rolling into our first pod here in the next 10 seconds. All right. We're gonna start out okay. with single leg burpees. We'll be here for 45 seconds of work, and then during those rests, listen, and I'm gonna cue you for the next movement. Okay. All right. We're on in three, two. One, single leg burpees. Let's get this started, y'all. So we're up at the top, stay on one leg, and then we're gonna take it down to the ground. All right? Nice, Mario. And then we're gonna just string them together. Good. You can stay on the same leg during this entire set, or you can alternate as you go, okay? Whatever feels most comfortable to you. If this single leg, Just keep doing what you're doing. Whatever movement you've got working for you is definitely good enough today. If that's a two yeah, legs for me, that's awesome. You can go slower to alternate like Shan says. Two, one, rest there. All right, Mario, we're gonna take it to the ground with a twist here, okay? Okay. Catch that breath, make sure we're breathing big. We're gonna start in five. Whew. Three. Two, sit ups with a twist, let's go. Keep that uh, belly button nice and sucked into that spine. Heels in the ground, okay. sit up, twist. Sit up, twist. These are, these are old school. Like, these are old school. These are nice. Now, for the people at home, what we wanna be really careful of is we don't wanna be cranking on our neck, okay? Let your core do the work. You're not pulling yourself up, you're crunching yourself up with your core. Okay, we're over halfway here. Keep moving, y'all. Whew. Good job, Trey. You too, 
Mario. It's tough working out and talking at the same time. Everybody I, at home is going to talk though. <laughs> Here we go. We've got our final three, two, one. All right, y'all, back up on our feet. We're going to hold a nice low midpoint squat and we're gonna alternate with forward lunges, okay? Okay. Woo. All right, we got fast transitions today. We're gonna be on in three, That's good. two, drop that squat nice and low, and then we're gonna alternate into a forward lunge. Here we go, nice. Stay there, yep, chest tall. You wanna keep your chest stacked over those heels as you go, all right? Nice this is work. Great. This is, you know, you, you can do all this while you're watching your favorite show. Yes, you watching could. Watching the kids, just hanging out. <laughs> listening, right. listening to some You can do it jams. anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You could do it outside, you could do it in a park. Well, you could so do you it don't in like to use your arms. I was using my arms. I'm you can use them here, sorry. My fault. No, no, no. All right, y'all. Mix it up. Last five seconds, Mario, good work. And two, one. Okay, catch that breath, we're back down to the ground. These are gonna be those Spider-Man plank positions. So, hold in. Nice, low push-up position. And then we're gonna bring knee to elbow. All no right. push-up, hold it nice and low. Here we go, we're working, 45 seconds on. So we're low, knee to elbow. It's not a rush. Here we go, y'all. If you're struggling to hold that low push-up position, you can also go into a high plank position right here. Again, whatever you're doing, it's great. I want to see how people are moving at home. Make sure that you take pictures and use hashtag move sweat fear so that we can go take a look after this live, okay? Here we go. Keep moving. It's your final five. Here we go. Breathe in. What's a good one? Three. Good one. Triceps. Two. Four. Abs. Okay. All right, y'all. Rest here. Now we've gone through every movement. We're gonna go back to the top. We've got two more laps. Okay. Back to our right. single leg burpees. Switch legs in two, one. I'm on my left side here. Let's go. Whew. Make sure that chest goes to the ground. Try to keep that balance on that one leg. Nice, Mario. I've been alternating, but this is tough. That's, that's all right. It looks good. Way to keep I'm moving, get the tough one out of the way. Get the tough one out of the yeah. way first. <laughs> nice, we're over halfway here, y'all. Stay moving. Keep it up at home, we've got our last 10. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough time for two. Last three, two, one. Awesome work, y'all. Right. We're back to the ground, working the core, Mario. This is your favorite move. Set up with a twist. Whew. Set up with a twist. If you, if you want to spice this up, you could go up, twist, punch, punch. Here we go. Let's work. Come on. Nice. Punch, punch. Yeah, let's throw them in. Get those hands going, Mario. <laughs> go. Nice, make sure you still oh, get that oh. twist in there. Whew. Here we go. If you're watching Everybody this at go. home, you guys need to get up and get moving with us. Or you can go check out that donation link and help us out here in, Stu in Sherman Oaks, all right? Keep moving, last three, two, one. Rest nice. it, y'all. <laughs> all right, we're back to our forward lunges from that midpoint squat, all right? So we're gonna be nice and go. low. Right there again. We're on in three, two. Here we go, Mario, you're doing awesome. Let's go. Ah. Or you do another right. squat, so it's like a double squat. Yeah, staying nice and low. Just don't stand up, and then you don't have to do the squat if you just stay low. That's right. Nice. What that does is it gives you time under tension on those quads, right? Yeah. So if you stand up in between, that's taking the tension out of your quads. Whereas if you stay low the whole time, that's a lot of time under tension there. Woo! <laughs> Feeling like quads in over here. <laughs> I nice. appreciate the pun. 
here we go, last 10. Okay. Stay moving. I'm curious for people at home, I wonder how far people are like watching in from for this live. Last two. Well, all the people are joining us, getting motivated. Totally, I love inspiring the movements. <laughs> all right, now we've got the Spider-Mans in those low position, working the whole chest, bringing that knee to elbow, okay? We're on it, okay. two, one, here we go, Mario. Let's go. Whew. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Right here. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Here we go. Keep moving, y'all. If you guys miss anything this in this workout, by the way, you can watch it anytime it'll be up. It's a great little workout. If you don't have any equipment or not much space, or you can get a lot done in a short amount of time. Last 10. Hold it strong, man. Woo! Come on, Mario. Five. And three, two, rest. All right, we're to our last lap here. Back to the top for our last time in this pod. We've got our single leg burpees, okay? Let's alternate as we go to keep it even the whole time. Okay. Okay, here we go. Two. This is the last one, round. let's work, 40. Last round of this pod, let's go. People at home, oh. keep it up, keep moving. Okay. Again, whatever burpee option you're at is perfect for today, all right? Just stay moving. Get that heart rate up, try to have fun. These burpees are no joke. They are no joke. Here we go, y'all. Keep it up. We're well over halfway. Finish strong. Nice. It's your last set here. Whew. Great job, Mario. Last ten. Thank you. <laughs> last three, two, one. Y'all, we're done with the single leg burpees. Oh. Let's drop it down. We got sit-ups with a twist. Sit-ups with a twist. Or punches. Sit-ups with a twist. Or punches, yeah. <sighs> Either way, okay. keep that belly button in. We're on in two, one, last set here, let's go. Come on, big exhale as you sit up. Let that core do the work. Nice, good exhale as you rise. Here we go. Nice job. Keep it up at home. If you're looking for a reason to get moving, this is it. Get up, get involved. Let's get sweat in. Here we go, we're to our final 10 on these. Nice, Mario. I like the quick punch. Long strike. <laughs> Last three, two, one. Oh. Wait a minute. Whew, we're almost right. there. Two more stations left this lap and we'll get some water. We've got our alternating right. forward lunges here, okay? Way to be. Whew. All right. We're what on. We, what have we been we've been working out what about an hour and a half now? It may feel like that. Here we go. 45 seconds here. We're gonna alternate a nice low forward lunge. Good. Whew. When I go into my forward lunge, I first step with my heel. So you don't want to step with your toe first. Step with your heel through that movement. Keep your knees at 90 hashtag, degrees. Huh? Move sweat here. <laughs> it's a great hashtag. I love. That's pretty much what we're doing right now. Move, sweat, and then we're gonna be here. <laughs> Last 15. Here we go. Stay moving, y'all, push it. Don't quit, you owe it to you. If it doesn't challenge you, it's not gonna change you, okay? Keep it up, final three, two, one. All right, we've got our last station this lap. Our final set of Spider-Mans, all right? Woo! We're on in five. Don't get tired on me, Shannon. Oh, Mario, I'm not tired. Here we go. Two, one, hold that push up. Let's go. Come on. Here it is. Stay moving. If you're struggling to hold that low position, again, just hold a high plank. Stay moving. Keep that core tight. Try to hold that connection, knee to elbow, down. Nice work. <sighs> Hope we're sweating at home. We're about halfway here, and we can grab our waters. Stick with it. Whew. 
If you're struggling, just stay moving in whatever variation you can do. Try to stay consistent with where you're at. Three, two, one. That's time on our first pod, y'all. Nice job. Let's grab our water. We got a quick 60 seconds before we get rolling into our next okay. pod. The water. <sighs> Hope our F45 fam is holding up strong. Whew. Giving me that. Make sure, make sure if you're joining us here, you're getting sweaty with us, be sure you go check out our Venmo and PayPal links. We appreciate all of your support. <laughs> Great workout so far, Shannon. Feeling good. Thank you, Mario. You're doing awesome. Thank you. Whew. All right, we're gonna get on in the next 20 seconds. If we're at home, make sure we're finishing up that water and getting ready to get moving. Our second pod is the exact same as the first pod, okay? Our movements are going to be one drop squat with one lunge. Second one's gonna be a moving plank. Third one, we've got ice skaters with a hop. And finishing off, we've got those push-ups into the side plank, okay? So, that's what you can expect. We're gonna get rolling here, starting with the lunge and drop squat in three, two, let's go. So, drop squat it, forward lunge. Drop squat, forward lunge. On a drop squat, all that means is you're taking those feet wide in a sumo stance, and then you're gonna drop it low, pop it out, and finish drop in that those. forward lunge, okay? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Mario, just like that, perfect. Nice job, that's wonderful. Woo! We're over halfway, find a tempo that works for you. If the jumping is not comfortable, you can always move a bit slower through the movement, so you can step it in, step it out. Whatever option works for you is awesome. We've got our final five to just stay moving. Here we go, three, two, one, rest. Okay, let's drop it down, let's work our core. We've got that moving plank, alternating a high plank and a low plank, keeping our hips and core nice and engaged the whole time, okay? Okay. Whew. We're on in two, one, here we go. We're gonna be here with that plank. So it's, you could call it a moving plank, a walking okay. plank. Some people call it hands to elbows. Yeah, just like that. Now, if you're struggling to stay stable through the movement, meaning your hips and shoulders are rocking a lot, you can always widen your feet, which is gonna give you a more stable base, okay? Keep moving, we're about halfway there. Whew. Nice work. There we go. Keep it up. Last 10, Mario. There we go, kill it. Nice job. Stay steady for three, two, back up to our feet. We've got our ice skaters working laterally here, awesome. Okay. Make sure we're breathing. Whew. These are fast recoveries, big inhales, big exhales. Ice skaters with a hop are gonna look like this. We're on in three, two, let's go. Come on, get moving. Nice work at home, people. Keep it up. Really bad, it's done. Yeah, let's have that little hop. Keep that chest up. Try to stay low through the movement. Good. If you're struggling to balance, you can always kickstand your leg behind you. So you land, kickstand with a curtsy. Land, kickstand with a curtsy. So whatever variation works, just stick with it, all right? Final 15 here. Woo. Last 10, come on. Whoosh. <laughs> Last three. Two, rest. All right, push-ups into the side plank here, okay? How you feeling, Mario? Feeling great. Yeah, you feel that heart rate yes. up? Oh yeah. Good. We're on in. We're on in three with our push-ups into the side plank. Let's go. Stack those hands right under those shoulders. We're up on those toes. Drop that chest down, keep your elbows tight. And then we're gonna open right into that side plank. And then we'll alternate as we go. Okay, if we're having a hard time with the push-up, we can always drop down to our knees. Notice that we're still straight from our shoulders to our knees though. We're down in that push-up, and then still open up into that side plank. Whew. Nice job, y'all. Move with control, breathe as you move, stack those shoulders in your side plank, 
keep your hips engaged. Last five here, finish what you're doing. Woo! And two, one, rest. So, we're back up to the top. We've got two more laps and we're done, y'all. Keep it wow. on, stick with it. Wait a minute. we got another pod I'm so ready. No, 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 this is the last pod. We're just back this to the top, pod. here we go. This is a good Drop one. squat, a good one. forward lunge. Drop squat, forward lunge, here we go. Nice, y'all. Keep it up. Try to keep a nice quick pace. When we load and unload our legs in that drop squat, we're working our fast switch muscles. So make sure you drop it low, pop it out nice and quick. Get the most out of what you're doing. Right. <laughs> I'm breaking days. <laughs> Here we go. We've got it for five. Push, last rep, two, and rest. All right, down into our moving planks here, y'all. <sighs> Again, we're just so, I feel so grateful for this opportunity with movement by Michelob Ultra because who knows when this quarantine's gonna end. <sighs> exactly. Here we go. Let's get rolling into our moving planks. Okay, this is a chance for that heart rate to come down a little. Make sure you're controlled through your movement. It's not a rush. Whew. Little movement through that core. Remember, we can widen our feet if we need to. Whew. Stick with it, y'all. Final 15. Way to be. Last 10. Don't stop. Keep moving. Be the best for you. There's three, two, one. Nice job. Up on our feet, we've got those ice skaters next. Make sure we're breathing. All right. We're almost there. Two more exercises till our final lap. Three, two, right into our ice skaters. Here we go. Okay. Now, if we go quick, that's gonna get our heart rate going fast but we could also go low, slow, and controlled, which is gonna bring that heart rate down and give us some time under tension. So you choose what variation works best for you. Here we go. We're all ready to that halfway point. Stick it out. Nice, Mario. Keep that chest up, core tight. Nice to that knee, land with a big bend, not with a straight leg. Good work, y'all. Woo. Last three, two, rest. Push-ups with the side plank, here we go. Almost there. Way to be. Killing it, Shannon. Dude, you're killing it. I've got sweat beating down my nose. Because <laughs> you're talking, that is your energy too. Let's kill it. I'm gonna pass the mic to you, Mario. You can talk during these push-ups and side planks. Let's hear it. Oh, great. Okay, let's get in right. push-up position. Yeah. And then push it down. Open it up and say hi. Hi. Push it down again. Say hi to the other side. Don't be rude. Push it Wonderful down again. Wonderful picture cues. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, again. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry, nice. Fully. You take over. No, you're good. We've got 15 more seconds. You're doing an awesome job, Mario. I wouldn't want to let you astray. Here we go. If we need to be on those knees, that's all right. Just keep right. it up for five, three, two, one. Hey, here's the good news. We've got one lap left. Here at Sherman, we always say last lap, best lap. All right. Best lap. Best lap. Here we go. One drop squat, one forward lunge. Let's work hard. Last set every station. And then we can reward ourselves with that cold beer. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, that's a great tempo. Nice job. Oh, I got to drop lower. Drop low. Here we go. Again, whatever pace you're at, find consistency in it. You should be able to find something that you could do for 40 seconds. Woo! Here we go. Good depth. Nice job. Keep it rolling. Last 10. 
Finish strong. Last drop squat. Last forward lunge. Two, one. That's it on those. Down to our moving planks. Job well done, Mario. Thank you, likewise. Thank you. Moving planks, we're on fast recoveries in two, one. Here we go, come on. Last set of moving planks, get that core tight. You can move as slow or fast as you want. Just make sure you keep your torso solid, square to the ground, okay? Here we go. Whew. Nice work. Make sure you switch what direction you're going so you don't just work the same sides. Whew. Push, last 15. And hold for three, two, rest. Woo! All right, two more stations, Mario. We're almost there. Back to our ice skaters with the hops, okay? Hop skaters with the hop. Hop skaters with the hops. Hop skaters. <laughs> I love it. Here we go, three, two, let's go. Move with control. It's our last set at these ice skaters, y'all. Pull it from within, let's go. You got it. Good work. Make sure we land with control. If we need to kick stand, we can. If we want to challenge our balance, we can. Here we go. We're over halfway. Way to be. Push, last 10, come on. Try to get at least four more. Nice work at home. Don't quit for three, two, one. All right, y'all. I believe it's time for our last set. All right, push-ups on the side plank. This is it. Last station. This Here we is go. It. Come on, Mario. We're working. Let's go. Let's do it. 45 on. Drop it down to that push-up. Open into that side plank. Here we go. Whew. Uh, keep those shoulders stacked. Elbows by your ribs when you go into that push up. Nice job. Hold solid, we're halfway. Come on. Nice, Mario, that looks good. Nice stacked shoulders. Nice stacked in that push up. Final 10. Here we go. Push for three, two, one. That's it, y'all. Give it up. You put yes. it in. You did the work. Very nice job. Go grab your beer to hydrate and meet us back right here for our live Q&A happy hour with Mr. Mario Lopez. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice job. Whew. For people at home, if you guys haven't checked out your local N45 studio, I hope that this inspired you too, okay? All studios do the same workouts every day. It's a great, fast, efficient way to get moving. How you feeling, Mario? I'm feeling great. That was very cool, Shannon. What was so cool about it is that obviously it didn't take a lot of time. We did all those important movements. We get a full body workout and uh, we didn't use a lot of space. That's great because most people come up to me and say, you know, Obviously the gyms are closed, I don't have a gym in my house, I don't have a lot of equipment. It's exactly what you can do right there. And you hit all the body parts. And if you need a little cardio, then take a little lap around the block, hit that, and you're good to go. Salud. Salud, good work. Nice, now we just That's nice. <laughs> yeah, we can kick it, what do you say? What do you say we play a little game, Mario, just to get to know you a little more? Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we worked up a sweat. Let me tell work. That's good. We did, we did. So now we'll we'll refresh and unwind. Um, okay. So for this game, we're gonna kind of see what some of your preferences are and see if we have any differences or similarities. The game okay. is going to be called this or that. I'm gonna give you this, two prompts okay. and you essentially this, just okay. tell me which one you prefer. Okay. Okay. Cool. So right out of the gate, I want to ask you. 
after quarantine, okay, what is the first place you're going to, uh, to going to go? Would you go to the mountains or would you go to the beach? Well, I already go to the mountains even during quarantine because we're allowed to hike right now. So that's one of the things uh -huh. I like to do outside is go hiking. Um, so definitely the beach. Definitely the beach. You can kind of go to the beach ish right now. You can you can run and, and fish, but you can't just sunbathe or, or hang out, you know, with the fam or anything. So I'm a beach guy, I love the beach. Spoiled here in Southern Cali. So I'm hitting the beach. So beach guy? <laughs> I think I think I feel a little opposite on it. I uh, live in the valley, so I'm not really up in mountains. So I can't wait for all of the parks and trails to just be open and to be able to go and enjoy the space and, and not be concerned with quarantine and just be free in the wilderness. <laughs> well, they're starting to open up, so you can start. At least over here by me, they're starting to open up, so we'll have to get Well, up. I'm going to keep that in mind. <laughs> all right, good okay, okay. What about, what about would you rather, once quarantine lifts, would you rather go on a vacation or go to a music festival? Oh, vacation all day. I think I'm like too old for a music festival now, right? I don't want to be, there's nothing no, worse than looking like the old guy at the club or the old guy at the Mario, music festival. Mario, <laughs> Age is but a number. You don't look. Oh, well, thank you. I you do not you. look a day over 25. Oh, uh, you're always my favorite. Clearly, you're above average intelligence. <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> but uh, I probably go uh, vacation for sure. Even though I love music and I is love there... hearing, uh, I love hearing a, a, a nice concert. What, uh, I, well, unfortunately, you know they shut down the Hollywood Bowl here. It was always suck. And during the summer, I look forward to seeing concerts there. And now they shut down the Hollywood Bowl. So that's awful. Awful. I know, that's a bummer. It makes it makes it an easy choice to pick vacation. Where do you yeah. think that you would want to go? Would you want to travel abroad? Where Where is like high on your list of places to go? Any place tropical. You know, we go to Mexico a lot. That, that oh, very nice. Uh, just just our, our south of the border friend right there. So uh, uh, we might just jump down there. That'd be fun. Any place, I mean, if I had, if I had like wish list, just you know, we could go to Hawaii or something. And, and uh, any place tropical is always a way to go. That's a real vacation. Any with a place boat tropical? Drink. Yeah, with a boat drink. <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> right, I love it. <laughs> I also choose going on a vacation. I cannot wait to travel and, and go anywhere. I've actually, the only place abroad I've ever been is Mexico. So I'm excited to like go venture elsewhere um, whenever all this lifts. Australia right. specifically. <laughs> What's well, a long flight? It's a long flight. I, it'll be worth it. Okay, okay. Next this or that. Okay, right. Next, this or that for you. Would you rather get a facial or a massage? <laughs> oh, massage all day. And I like the kind of massage where they kind of beat you up and they really get in. Do you ever do I, the Thai? Yes, those are awesome. But I want to feel elbows and knees. I want to feel beat up after the massage because I know when I sleep and I wake up the next day, I'm going to feel better. I don't like the kind of massage, like my wife likes the kind of massage where they just kind of tickle you and they make you fall asleep. Defeat full purpose. I like, my body's kind of always beat up and a mess, so I like to really get in there and them to, to, to feel like, uh, you know, they're putting in some work. <laughs> yeah, get like a nice deep tissue going in. All right, all right, what about, um, are you more of a brunch guy or a dinner guy? Uh, whenever everything lifts from quarantine, would you rather, would you be caught at a brunch or a dinner? I mean, I like them both. Day drinking is one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> when you're day drinking and you're hanging out, you you know you can get to bed at a decent hour or still have a productive day the next day. That's the move. That's an older move too. When you get older, you start appreciating day drinking a lot, uh, a little bit more. But I love me a marathon dinner. I love just being with my friends and family and entertaining them. And, you know, I, that's what I miss most. It's just the, the human contact and, and just that energy when you're in a crowded restaurant with a lot of people. Um, I love being in a crowded dinner, having those marathon dinners and telling stories and laughing and all that, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to doing that. Totally. I agree with you. To go like sit in a restaurant and have like a whole experience and, and enjoy what I'm doing and not just take it out and bring it home and sit in front yeah. of my couch. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, okay. Let's switch it a little. Let's do some random ones, all right? Um, all right. Would you rather host the Oscars or the Grammys? Well, they both kind of come with heavy criticism. <laughs> to tell you the truth, right? They, they don't ever seem to uh, give a lot of love, love to those. Um, I'd rather host the Emmys or the Golden Globes. <laughs> Given choice. But if I had I to like, pick between like those two, I'm going Oscars, I guess. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, okay. What about um, music versus podcast? Which do you listen to more? Music. I'm a big music guy, so I love you know having tunes in the car. And what kind of genre? Usually, like, what's your vibe? What's well, I mix it up. I really do love music. I, mean, you know, I love to dance or anything that gets me in the mood. But I love everything from hip hop, R and B, classic rock. You know, standard. I really do just appreciate all kinds of. Uh, Music. Um, I love I, I usually am in the car though, like making calls. Um, so I'm lucky. It's like a treat if I get to listen to music. So I'm usually like returning calls. Um, wow. Well, yeah. On the, on the, yeah. So I try to be productive there. So. Like a luxury to turn on the jams and be able to. Yeah, I turn on jams and luxury. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I feel that. Okay, okay. Final one for you. Um, when do you think there was better fashion in the '80s or in the '90s? Oh, it was both atrocious. I lived through them both. Um, <laughs> the late 80s, early 90s, I mean, that was, you know, Z Caparici days and, uh, and uh, the mullets. I don't know, that was like grooming and fashion. Big silky shirts. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. There was just a lot of the time. But they're both pretty loud and expressive, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> right. I love it. Okay, well, that's a wrap on our game. Um, that was fun. I can't believe that you prefer uh, going to the beach over the mountains. I'm like super excited to get up in those mountains again. <laughs> well, I kind of live in a mountain, so I'm always kind That's of... true. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what else is going All right, on? What, what, do you, what, do you say, what do you say we get started with like a Q&A? Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. What? what who do you, I don't even know, is there something special in your life, Shannon? I don't even know that. You got a special someone? No, no Mario, I do not have a special someone. Thank you for asking. You're single? <laughs> oh, that's good to know. I'm I, like to play, I like to play Cupid. So I'm gonna get the, the, I'm gonna get the arrow, the bow and arrow out. And then, except you're too good for any of my friends. So I'm gonna have to look you outside of the carpet here. <laughs> Hey, you keep me posted. I'm here. Um, until then, I'll be kept company with my cats. <laughs> okay, what kind, of, what kind of dude do you like? So I, I need to know this. So when I'm up, what kind of guy do you like? What kind don't of dudes do I like? Yeah, don't give me some beauty pageant answer. Give me like a good superficial answer. <laughs> Listen, I need a guy. I need a guy who's got goals of his own. He's driven. He's motivated. He is equally supportive of me. I consider myself a strong, independent woman. So he's got to be like okay with that and supportive of that. One of my big things is I really want someone where we can grow strong individually and support each other, as opposed to be super go. codependent. Okay. So those are my highlights. That's a fantastic answer. That is that solid. You need a guy who's 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 confident in himself and, and appreciates yep. a strong woman, lets her thrive. What about physically? What do you gotta look like? What do you what are you partial to? Okay, so I'm 5'10 and, and I'm pretty solid, like as far as like I, you know, I lift a lot. So I do like a guy who is like six feet or above. Like give me some give me some height, maybe six three. Now why because, gotta, you know, now why gotta be tall? What if he comes in? What if he's coming in like five eight but real confident? Real confident, listen, solid. Come on, you're discriminating against certain guys that are certain tall. What if a guy says I'm not, I have to have a girl, but she's gotta be 32, 26, 30, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to get you know, you're, I know you're not like that, Shannon. You have to keep, keep the prefer strikes are open. Why? <laughs> my my fault, my fault. So five ten or above. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I like the honesty. I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. Alright. So what what motivates you to, to, to work out and, and want to stay in great shape? It's just part of your lifestyle now, right? It is, but honestly, I mean, it's not different for everyone. I don't wake up every day and feel super abnormally motivated, but I feel lucky because I'm involved in so many communities of like-minded people, meaning they like fitness, they like trying to be their best, they like leading healthy lifestyles. I feel super fortunate for our F45 Sherman Oaks community. Um, so I'd say like the communities I'm involved in, that's what sort of motivates me and makes me want to be better, wants me to keep being my best and, and all of that. What about you? You're fit, you work out all the time. What kind of keeps you motivated on that? Well, thanks. I mean, you know, it's just a, a sort of a lifestyle for me. I, I, I train more for sanity more than vanity, to be honest with you. I'm just a hyper guy. I and it's, that. Um, it um, really kind of releases a lot of stress and anxiety Plus, I like to eat a lot. If not, I'm really like a fat kid. 
just kind of trapped in like a skinny dude's body. Cause I'm, I love to eat. I'm always crushing it. And if I didn't train all the time, I'd probably like walking around. <laughs> Look at all, <laughs> Look at all. Pull up and everything. So, uh, I and that. I just like the way it makes me feel. Like I said, um, I feel like it complements all the other aspects of my life. I agree. It kind of enhances all other aspects of your life whenever you can find there a consistent, go. good way to get moving. I agree. Do you feel like there's like a certain part of your routine or a certain habit that you find super important to like keep you on track on the day to day? I mean, I think the most important thing is I like to try to keep, you know, your body guessing. I think you don't get complacent that way to kind of mix it up. Um, yeah. And I still love to get physical in there. I mean, I do jujitsu like three days a week and then I box like another two, three days a week. and. Uh, so that key, that's that's very exhilarating, um, and, and obviously a great workout. And then I'm you know I'll mix it up doing different trainings like they got 45 or spin or what have you. I just I just like kind of mixing it up. I don't feel like I ever really woke up and I say I broke a sweat. In your opinion, do you find that mixing it up all like just on a workout basis like keeps you more interested in what you're doing because it's not the exact same every single day? Like it kind of adds a little like variety to your life. Yeah, you mix it up, you add some variety. Like I said, you don't get complacent. I think you get a better response with your body, too. Right. Because uh, you keep your muscles guessing. So, you know, it's, it's, it's been kind of working for me, but I, I get uh, easily distracted, so I like to <laughs> kind of do that. <laughs> I love it. I always say as long as you can keep fitness fun, you can find a way to do a little bit of it every day. Um, and I feel like you kind yeah. of embody that as well. Oh, thank you. And, you know, and, and, and uh, I'm also believing like workout partners or that's why I like F45 too, the whole team training. Because when someone's yeah. there, then you're sort of held accountable and they hold you accountable. And sometimes you, you come work like out retired, often. So you don't want, yeah, you don't want to let them down. So I think that that helps. You come work out here in our studio often with your friend Mark Wahlberg, yes? Yeah, yeah. We work out there and we, you know, we push each other and uh, keep each other uh, uh, motivated there. And, you know, and it's great because if I'm feeling a little tired, you know, he motivates me and vice versa. And, yeah. Um, and that, that's it. the way it's supposed to be, which is cool. No, it's super cool, even from like a trainer standpoint, to like just watch everybody who kind of uses the buddy system to stay accountable. It doesn't really matter who you are, everybody sort of has like their person in the gym that sort of like pulls them in and makes them want to be a part of this community. And it's even, it doesn't matter who you are, like that's a lot of times like the overall thing that gets you in. Um, so, anyway, yeah, let's shift gears a little bit. Pardon me? Who, Switch gears? Okay. I want to ask you some more personal questions about you. I'm curious, who is the most interesting person that you've ever interviewed, ever? Well, you know, I've been uh, hosting uh, my show for a long time now. Like, oof, yeah. Uh, years. <laughs> and uh, 12 years, 13 years, something like that. And uh, which, by the way, you can check out 7 p.m. on NBC. Access Hollywood every day <laughs> and Access Daily during the day. But I've been fortunate to interview pretty much every major star you can kind of think of. You know, you do it so long, right? And you're doing it every yeah. day. So uh, from you know, the last um, few presidents, which is kind of cool, um, to uh, which, which is always kind of you know fun when you get to kind of cross over and do that sort of stuff. To, to every big movie star you can think of, you know, Tom Cruise, Julia Roberts, Clooney, Denzel Washington, everybody you can think of. Um, and I found like the the bigger the star, like the cooler the person, and maybe that's a big reason why they are so successful is because they are cool and, and down to earth and really nice, and, and uh, they've been blessed. And God blesses them. We continue to bless them because they're cool peeps. That's a really neat perspective. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'll keep that in the back of my mind as I as I meet some people. <laughs> well, that, I think it pays to be nice, you know. If you're, if you're uh, it's such a small business or community, I should say, within the business, and and. Um, Word travels quick, so there's no reason to not be nice. This is like a fun business, so I, I, I always feel very grateful for everything I'm doing, and, and I'm always appreciative of meeting people. I like people too, though. I like hosting because whether I'm hosting like game night at my house or you know just like a barbecue or something, I, I like people. I want to make sure they're having a good time. I like to entertain, and so yeah. uh, it's just like kind of who I am, and so it comes very easy. And I and I'm a fan of entertainment, so I, I get excited in meeting. Um, people that I watch on my favorite TV shows or, or the latest movies or the album that just dropped. But, you know, I get excited to meet these talented entertainers, so it's, 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 it's still a treat for me even all these years later. 
Yeah, no, totally. I get that. People, I, people are the best part of most things, and I think it's also really cool to meet those people that have sort of like figured out what their passion is in life and be able to like ask them about it because there's just, like you said, the people at the top who are doing best are the most authentic, they're the most genuine, they're the most, most true to what their passion and stuff is that they're doing. So I, I totally, I get that. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> let me ask you if, you, if you could have a round of beers with, with any person in the world, who would it be? Any person in the world. Oh man. That's a tough question. Okay, um, I don't know why this, per this person comes to mind because I feel like it's, we have like a small connection. So I just feel like it'd be cool to make it a bigger connection, you know? But I graduated, I'm from Texas and I went to school at Texas Tech and I graduated with Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback of the Chiefs who just won yeah, the Super Bowl. Yeah, of course. Oh, you graduated, you guys are same year? Yep, and so my, I would love to sit down him. with him. <laughs> really? I love him too, he's really nice. I mean, we weren't like homies, but like it would excite me to like sit down and be like, oh, Patrick Mahomes, what do you think about Lubbock, Texas? You know, like that would be fun. So uh, I think I'm just Patrick Mahomes on the spot. That's good. <laughs> jealous he's not a charger, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let me come at you. What, what do you think is the most fun part of being on a red carpet? Um, the Golden Globes is always a, my favorite red carpet because it's the first one of the year. No one's lost yet, so everyone's in a good mood and it's a big party. So all the drinks are flowing, everybody's happy. It's the, the, the top film and TV stars that are there. Um, and there's usually a bunch of parties afterwards. So that's a lot of fun, you know, just kind of seeing all the people from your favorite shows and getting to ask them the questions you really wanted to, to ask them. And like I said, it's, you know, it's right after the holidays, everybody's festive and in a good mood. By the time you get to the Oscars, everybody kind of knows who's kind of kind of win. They're kind of tired of the same questions and tired of seeing your face. <laughs> so they want to get right. out of there. <laughs> So the first one's always the best. I love that. So your favorite part of being on the red carpet is like connecting with all the people and kind of like getting all the, the whole vibe going yeah. with them all? Yeah, and I never have to worry about what I'm gonna wear because it's the same thing every year wear a tux. <laughs> guys are very <laughs> I love it. Awesome. All right. Um, well, uh, that is, I think, all I have for us today, Mario. Um, we gotta wrap up. Thank you. Wrap it up. Yeah, right. let's wrap it up. Let's, my beer's about done. I've drank about all of it. Um, That's cool. I just want to take a moment and I want to thank you first and foremost, Mario, for joining with us and being such an active part thank of our you. community here in Sherman Oaks. It's honestly been really cool just to like meet you and talk to you and get to know you. Um, I appreciate thank it. You, you do also. a great job and all the trainers out there do a great job and hopefully this will pass soon and we'll get back in there and uh, uh, start training uh, together. But this was cool what you did today. I was glad to be a part of it. Well, thank you. I feel fortunate for the opportunity. Remember, y'all, this we're working with uh, Michelob Ultra and Optimum Nutrition. Every dollar y'all donate to our Venmo and PayPal for the next week, they're going to match dollar for dollar up to $7,500 to help support our studio here in Sherman Oaks, our trainers, your place where you work out, you sweat, you put your blood, sweat, and tears here. Um, so please, 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 every dollar counts. Everything helps. We appreciate yes. all the support. Um, yeah, really. Anyway, and thank you, Mario. People. No, again, my, my pleasure to be here. Thanks again, just to be back on what you were saying to everyone for contributing to uh, F45 training over at Sherman Oaks. And um, by the way, you can join the Global Ultra again next week for another workout and a fun little happy hour uh, with some very special guests. We'll see if they can hang with us. Shannon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. So salute everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Awesome. Thanks, Mario. Cheers to you. That was awesome. All right, you too, sweetie. That was fun. <laughs>